Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another haul for you and that is a special effects makeup haul. Now I have special effects for gore, creatures of whatever you may know. I got a lot. I am trying to be a makeup artist and I want to do some special effects. I do have a good bit just to make you know, creepy looks, you know, like Freddy Krueger, Jason, although that's just a mask, so why am I saying Jason? Um, Leprechaun, just things like that. But yeah, I'm super, super stoked that this package came in. This was a very, 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 very expensive package because I ordered a lot of stuff. This way I'll be able to start uploading more like Halloween tutorials, more special effects makeup tutorials, all that shebang. So I ordered my stuff off of Camera Ready Cosmetics and they had literally everything I needed. Pretty heavy packaging and um, yeah, I've already um, opened it because um, I didn't think I was gonna film this, but everything's still in the packaging unused, just opened if that makes sense. So it's not really an unboxing, it's just kind of a haul. So I got a makeup setting spray, actually too. I got the green marble setting spray. I got this because a lot of drag queens actually use this. It's very heavy duty and I'm not kidding you. I've seen drag queens use this and their makeup looking perfect from the moment they finished applying it to after performing under hot lights in a stage for hours and their makeup has not budged one fucking bit not even the eyeliners like running legit this stuff is really really hardcore apparently so I definitely needed that Krylon ultra setting spray actually there's a lot of Krylon in here actually I got all my products actually in reference from Nike from Glam and Gore I only had a very few amount of products to do special effects makeup. Not really enough to the point I could create a lot of looks for you guys. You then have to use more product than you need and then all your product is almost gone. So, had to go and buy some. So all of these um, are referred to me, not personally by Mikey, but she did make a video on a beginner's um, special effects makeup kit. And I took a lot from that. A ton of fake blood. Now, I am very into gore. That's like my favorite special effects makeup style is gore and horror. I've just always loved doing it. The process can be very, very long and time consuming, but it's so much fun. And I got a dark blood and I got a light blood just because light blood will make a wound look fresh versus dark blood, it's gonna make a wound look more aged. So got those, scab blood. Now this is different from liquid blood because this is liquid and this is like a, um, literally a petroleum, I can't see, I don't know if you can see it jiggle, but it's literally like petroleum. And that's what it ends up looking like. This is good for a lot of other wounds that you need like thick blood for. I made sure I got a lot of blood to hold me over because I only had like that much fake blood and it didn't last me very long. Alcone third degree is a silicone based um, material that you use. You put it and form it on your skin and it it's like a very thick petroleum jelly, a very sticky thick petroleum jelly. But this actually makes you look like you have burns without, you know, the latex. Latex can be good for burns. Sometimes when you need it to look like you're burned all over the face, it can sometimes not blend that well into other parts of your face. I know um, I was doing a Freddy Krueger makeup for my final in my makeup class back in my university. It was very, very time consuming, number one, because I only had like three hours. And I had to create multiple burns which you need to blend together and it was just really hard to blend it together. So sometimes liquid latex for wounds, it's great, 
but one, people can be allergic to latex. Two, it smells horrible. It smells like dead fish, not pleasant for you or the client. Three, it's just, it doesn't blend that smooth into your skin sometimes. It can look a little fake and too plastery. So this can make it look good. And I got two of them. This is uh, Alcom Third Degree 4 ounce. Should also give you a hint for <laughs> what I'm gonna do for one of my Halloween tutorials, so stay tuned. Liquid latex. You know, liquid latex, yeah, it can uh, not blend and look a little plastered, like I said. It's great for other things, too. When you're doing a singular wound or, you know, something like you need a lot of ripped skin that's around an area, like a lot of um, horror kind of gore ideas is to have a ripped up mouth where the skin is just protruding here and there's obviously supposed to be no area here. That's great for this. Clown white, this is another major thing I use for special effects makeup and horror and all this stuff. You can never have enough white. When you're doing gore, you can never have enough ah! white. Next thing I have is actually I got some tooth enamel. What this is, is paint for your teeth. I don't know if this tastes bad or not. A lot of horror and gore, um, will have their teeth looking all fucked up and sometimes they do use a prosthetic for that but other times they just paint this on and I've got black and I've got this gross color called nicotine as prosade now this is a very strong medical adhesive to put you know different prosthetics on different you know materials on your face I needed that because that might happen these brushes right here. These are the Bedellium tools. It came with a bag as well as these brushes. Now, you can use your regular brushes for gore, but personally, I would not recommend it because you're using fake blood sometimes, you're using, you know, really sticky adhesives, and sometimes, no matter how much you know how to clean your brushes, it just won't come out of your brush, and then it makes a giant hot mess. So I made sure to get separate brushes just for that. A spatula and a palette. I like to be cleanly during gore because that can, or special effects because it can get quite messy. Very, very, very messy. So this is just to keep everything clean, sanitary for me or if I'm doing it on another person and it's just easier to mix on a palette. Sometimes it's good to mix on your hand because of the warmth, but sometimes it's just better if you use it on a palette. It's a bald cap. A lot of looks actually require you to have very little hair or no hair, and I've got hair, so bald cap. Two cr uh, cream-based paints, um, palettes. Two cream-based paint palettes, the long name. Now, there are three types of paints you can use for special effects and gore. There is water activated, but the problem with that is that um, if it rains or if you cry, it's gonna be ruined because it's water activated, which means it then it's then gonna run. But the good thing about it is you can add as much or as little water as possible to create as much pigment so it's very easily able to control. There's then alcohol based paints which have a greater staying power and are easy to control but I'm not going to put that around anybody's eye if not mine. Cream slash gel based paints are going to work best. They don't run. They're a little harder to control, but I worry more about staying power because I'm good at controlling pigment. I got the Ben Nye Ultimate FX Palette, which has a lot of matte-based dull colors that are good for if you want to be a zombie or a possessed person or um, Freddy Krueger or Chucky or any kind of horror or even if you want to be a no-girl or a fairy, um, basically, or if you want to be a dead ghost, then uh, 
Yeah, these are great because they have all the colors you could possibly need to do that. The Ben Nye Lumiere Cream Color Palette. Um, this one I'm not as crazy about. I have a lot of bright colors, which is good for some looks, but one thing I'm not really crazy about is they're shimmery. Don't know how that's gonna work out, but I mean, I'm sure I can find a purpose for it. They're just literally, literally glittery. Like, one isn't even like a cream, it's just like a glitter, if you can see. But I'm sure I can find some use for it. The color Zombie, which has a lot of colors that you need to paint your face like a zombie. Burn and Injury Circle, this is a must have in my kit as always. Just super easy thing to use for burns and injuries. For most burns and entries as a base for the injury, like color base, um, sometimes you just need this. It's just a must have in my palette or in my kit, death. So these are like three must have wheels. Um, the zombie was kind of just added on, but if you're gonna get two of these, I would get death and burn and injury. <laughs> A whole bunch of skin bases. See, they are the Krylon Aquacolor paints. So these are a um, water-based paint. It's good to have both in your kit. Don't use them as much, but it's good to have if that makes sense. The Aqua paint in 276, which is a purple. I've got it in 32B, which is a ghoul gray color. 509, which is a bright canary yellow. GR42, which is kind of a bright standard exit sign green, if you may. 288, which is a standard orange tangerine color. TV white, which is a kind of off-white pink color. So white with pink undertones. 482, a lavender color. And then my last aqua paint by them is 482 again. Kind of added both by mistake. And then I've got, um, oh no, I missed two actually. Um, I've got the aqua color in 070, white, you can never have enough white. And then B3, which is a bright blue. And werewolf brown.